The facility is one of the 10 science, technology, engineering and mathematics, that is STEM schools, that government through the Ministry of Education is constructing. This ultra-modern facility, according to the consultant, will provide comfort and also boost interest of students who will be studying STEM courses. The science-focused school being built at Abomosu in the Itiwa West District of the Eastern Region has two V-blocks comprising a 24-unit and 29-unit classrooms. A Deputy Minister of Education, John Intim Fojo, has been given some more details. In, within these blocks, we have 12 units that are dedicated to be laboratories. We are going to have ICT laboratories, we are going to have science laboratories, chemistry lab, physics lab, biology lab, we are going to have robotic lab as well. And so, apart from the classroom block and the laboratories, we do have dormitories. Two dormitories, one for girls, one for boys with good capacity, with ultra-modern facilities, with good washrooms. At the same time, we have an assembly hall that can take not, more, not less than 2,000 students. We have a dining hall for similar capacity. We have, a, um, our sum, uh, we have administration block as well. We have a sick bay that is fitted with nurses bungalow that are going to be resident here to ensure that healthcare delivery here right here on campus is very um, creditable. At the same time, we have on this campus an ultra-modern library that is going to house books for reading of students. We have thought about teachers because we don't want to only plan for students and have our teachers having to stay outside and struggling with accommodation. So we have two accommodation unit, um, blocks that can cater to 12 teachers and their families. We do also have a principal um, a principal's accommodation and two vice principal's bungalows. According to him, Ghana must progress and also increase the annual engineering graduates to boost the country's innovations. Oftentimes, you have had people contend that we have we have very intelligent and smart students elsewhere. That is why, even at the age of twelve, we hear stories of students at the age of twelve at the age of 15 and 17 coming out with inventions and patenting some very strong innovations that are con contributing to the rapid socio-economic development of their countries. But I always contend that we have more intelligent and gifted children and students in Ghana than any other country. So whatever facility that those students have been exposed to that is accelerating their giftedness, President Akufuado Dr. Baumia and Dr. Yaosedu Chum have decided that we bring the same facilities right here in Ghana. And so the kind of facilities you find here, they are just like you find in any top school in any advanced country. And it's going to be free. So these are schools that are going to have higher quality than even some private schools that people you know, pay dollars and what have you, huge sums of money to assess in many other countries, even in this country. This is going to outsmart, outcompete those schools, and it's going to be free. The deputy minister added these schools will be staffed with quality teachers as well as appropriate teaching and learning materials to motivate students to venture into STEM education. So we are sure parents, we are sure students that STEM education has kicked off and that Ghana is going to make a difference. We are going to resort to education as a credible strategy for rapid socio-economic transformation. The project consultant Samuel Adai assured the facility will be ready in February. In fact, you hear people saying we haven't built any secondary school from scratch. At least this one you see from Virgin Forest. We are almost through. So we promised the minister within a month we will make sure at least we get to a usable stage so that the school can start.